Now let's look into AAA implementation protocol using RADIUS. So remember I told you that uh, for our AAA, we can use HW takers as well as the RADIUS. Of the protocol that are used to implement AAA, RADIUS is most commonly used. So most of the case, you're able to see that RADIUS is being used. So let's look into this diagram. We have user on the left, then we have RADIUS server on the right. Between them is our NAS, okay, network access server. So let's look into the protocol conversation here. So first step, we have the user enter a username and the password. So this information is intercepted by NAS. And what happened here on the second step, this NAS is going to send this information to the radius server using access request. Now, when you do this, they were going to use a UDP, UDP, which is the uh, uh, transport protocol 1812. That's the port number to radius server. Now the radius server will give them two decisions. It's either it get accept or it will get reject and the corresponding packet is delivered. So assuming that the packet is accepted, that is uh, step number three, what will happen here is the NAS is going to inform uh, the user to notify that the authentication is successful. Let's say that this is a successful authentication. Now, because that the authentication is successful and accounting also has been configured in the radius server, what really happened here is that on step number five, NAS is going to inform the radius server to start the accounting. Now, because that they are using uh, the accounting, again, they are going to use a UDP port. In this case, they are going to use UDP port 1813. Okay, so this is still a radius protocol, but the port number they are using for both authentic Authentication and the uh, accounting are different. Okay. okay. So now the radius server is going to start the response. Okay, so accounting now start. And we have a request and we have a response. That is step number six. So we have step number six over. here. Now the conversation will happen between the user and the internet for example and this information will be logged by the radio server. Now, assuming that now the user now go offline, so I'm going to close the browser. So what happened here is on step number seven, the user request to go offline. And because it's go offline, what really happened here is the NAS is going to inform the radio server, which is this part here, to stop the accounting, so that will be stopped. So if you don't stop, the accounting will keep on going. Finally, the radius server is going to stop and that will be uh, step number nine, accounting is stopped. And the user, step number 10, is notified of the completion of the network access. So here we have all the 10 steps on how the AAA implement the radius and this is the uh, protocol conversation. So for me to give you some example on how this take place, I'm going to show you a simple the packet capture on how this uh, conversation take place. Okay, so let's do a cloud 
shot and let's do a radius okay so I remember this is the pcap right so in here we have a demo uh, packet so you can see that these are the radius so as you can see that we have our access request access accept because this is being filtered and you also notice that we have accounting request accounting respond over here right so let me go to the filter and i'll show you uh, what will happen if let's say i filter according to the radius so let me scroll down There you go that's my radius so this is a conversation on the radius server so we have the uh, NAS which is 192.168.1.89 and we have the radius server which is 192.168.1.21 so if I click on this access request and see what happened to our radius protocol so as you can see that the protocol here is using UDP port 1812 and this is our uh, radius okay so that is our first radius protocol and you can see that this is the uh, password they are using and they are using a uh, cyber text because they are using a chat password so the real password is not being sent okay it's only the cipher uh, the uh, hashing so this is the first part here access request then we have access accepted so this is when the user uh, password is accepted and this is our attribute okay so again there are the source port of 1812 and you can see that this is the information on the uh, radius then we look into the accounting you can see that when the user uh, authentication is allowed then we have the request here you can see that the destination port is uh, 1813 udp and this is where the accounting started okay this is our uh, attribute value pair so here you can see that this is the attribute okay so the vendor in this case is Huawei technology right so you can see that we have a request uh, accounting request ID uh, 59 respond and then accounting request ID uh, 60 60 this is where the termination take place okay so I'll just show you how the packet capture look like in the real life so those are the packet that I show you here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are the six packet uh, shown just now. Next, we look into common AAA application scenario. So we have two scenario here. The first scenario is uh, AAA for internet access user through a radius. So here, AAA scheme are configured on the NAS to implement Internetwork between NAS and radius. So the user connect to the NAS and the NAS actually connect to the internet as well as the NAS also connect to the radius. So the user want to go into internet, all right, and it's being intercepted by NAS so that the user need to authenticate. So after the user enter the username and password on the client, the NAS send the username and password to the radius server for authentication. If the authentication succeeded, the user is granted the internet access permission. The radius server can record the user network resources utilization during the internet access. This is where the accounting take place. The second example here, which is most common, is when we want to do authentication to our router. Remember, the router is our NAS. So after the local AAA scheme are configured on a router, the router compare the username and password on the network. Remember that the router doesn't use any radius, so it means that it is using a local authentication. So administrator will locally configure username and password when the network administrator log into the router. After the authentication succeeded, router grant certain administrator permission to network administrator. So this is where we are going to use the privilege level. So remember on the earlier topic, we mentioned that we have privilege level of 0, 1, 2, 3, follow all the way to 15.